Maandamano yanayoendelezwa na muungano wa NASA kwa madhumuni ya kushinikiza mabadiliko katika tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini yanaendelea kuwa gumzo miongoni mwa wengi. Hasa baada ya uharibifu na maafa yanayoambatanishwa nayo ya hivi karibuni ikiwa vifo vya watu watatu waliouawa na maafisa wa polisi huko Siaya na Migori katika maandamano ya Ijumaa. Hata hivyo muungano wa NASA ambao unashikilia kwamba maandamano haya yataendelea liwe liwalo unalaumu serikali ya Jubilee kwa maafa yanayoshuhudiwa katika maandamano hayo. Haya ni kulingana na seneta wa Siaya James Orengo ambaye alikuwa akiongea na wanahabari jijini Nairobi. Matiangi and uh... Uh, Boynet must take responsibility and the International Crimes Act which is part of uh, is, is a, re- a duplication of the Rome Statute applies to state officers and state organs it's not meant for the public it's meant to ensure that state officers and state organs do not use that responsibility to carry out atrocities against you know their their own people kulingana na orengo kuna makundi haramu yanayoandaliwa ili kukabili waandamanaji wa NASA na kuwaua. These are the tactics that uh, Papa Doc used to use in Haiti. He used to have a militia called Tonton Makut and the business community if you look at their methods and their operation it is a duplication of the Tonton Makut in Haiti under Papa Doc. Siku chache zilizopita Waziri Matiangi alipiga marufuku maandamano ya NASA katika baadhi ya miji mikuu, marufuku iliyokaidiwa na wana NASA ambao wanasisitiza kwamba ni haki ya kila Mkenya kuandamana kama anavyodokeza kinara wao Raila Odinga kwenye mahojiano ya kipekee na runinga ya Citizen akiwa jijini London, Uingereza. Demonstrations are guaranteed by our constitution and that provision that deals with the human rights. That is an entrenched provision in our constitution. Kwa upande wake akiwa katika kanisa moja la Adventisti huko Nyaribari Chache katika kaunti ya Kisii, Waziri Matiangi amelaani maandamano ya NASA hasa yaliyosababisha vifo vya watu watatu huko Siaya na Migori, akisema serikali haitalegeza kamba kwa wanaokiuka sheria. Because we have a responsibility to ensure that Kenyans enjoy their rights. But people are engaged in criminal behavior and thuggery. Eh, honestly you should expect and they will get a very firm resistance from the police so if then the police don't uh, control these so called thugs who have been hired to try to interfere with the peaceful demonstration that interfere with the Kenyans exercising their democratic right hukuvuta ni kuvuta hiyo ikiendelea kuhusu maandamano hayo wadau katika sekta ya uchumi na biashara wanaendelea kukadiria hasara inayoletwa na hali iliyopo wa hivi punde wakiwa kutoka kaunti ya Mombasa Philip Murutu ni pashe wikendi